kind of just signed a lease trusting my family. All the shit that we're taking to Crossroads. This is a crazy moment right now. <laughs> My money don't jiggle jiggle, it fall. I wanna see you wiggle wiggle. Both show probably butchered those lyrics, but here we are living life still. You guys, the moving truck is about to be here in a few minutes. All our shit in LA is being shipped to NYC. Not shipped, driven. And it might take 10 to 14 days for the moving truck to get from Los Angeles to New York City. I'm like, okay, well, what do I do in the meantime? Because we're shipping all our furniture there too because my parents are not gonna live in LA anymore. They're moving back. They're gonna move to Greece, Athens, actually. Our LA apartment that my family has had for six years at this point. And that's the same house, but we've been here. We've had all this shit for six years we need to get rid of all of it like we're shipping my bed actually this is nil's old bed that no longer is gonna fit in her room in new york city but it fits in my room so i'm kind of stealing it but anyways like we're shipping all the furniture like the bed the bed frame tv not a lot so we have this awkward period of time and we're just gonna be staying in our la apartment and kind of like glamping in our own apartment because we're gonna have very minimal furniture once the moving truck gets there we're getting on a flight Flying to New York City. Sorry, I'm like telling you all the logistics because it feels better when I get things out because then I kind of like calm myself down because I know what I'm doing, you know? This is the start of the New York City moving vlogs. I actually, ugh, I'm kind of crazy for this, but I didn't go apartment hunting in New York. I kind of just signed a lease trusting my family. My sister, me and her, we're gonna live together, which is gonna be so interesting. Obviously, we lived our whole lives together for the most part, but never like me and her had our own apartment without our parents. Like, I think that's a new chapter for all of us, so. I'm glad we made it to this point without um, killing each other. So they did all the apartment hunting while I stayed back here in LA. Saw a bunch of apartments and they were like, we we found the perfect one. I mean, it's gotta be perfect if it fits this fat ass bed in my room, you know? Me and Nil kind of have the same brain when it comes to things like this. So I'm like, okay, if you think it's good, then it's probably good. So I signed a lease on a one year apartment in New York City without even seeing it, which I guess is honestly a common thing in New York because of how fast places go. Yeah, let me show you everything. Here are all the boxes that came out of this room. I think that's coming. My stool for my vanity is coming. Let's see. Oh my god, guys. There's so much happening here. All this stuff is coming. I think this thing is coming. And this room is the real jungle. Oh god, there's so much shit. That's box number 53. I don't know how this is gonna go because when I had to do the quote for the moving truck, I was like, yeah, we have around 20 boxes. I don't think we have 20 boxes. Fair enough. This is a pretty small box, so hopefully they don't judge me based off of that all the stuff all the shit is gonna leave that carpet i am bringing a lot of the stuff from my downtown la apartment because i barely used it like my white couch the coffee table reuse reuse recycle right reduce whatever <laughs> and then we've got a Jax. Jax knows that something is up because he's been super depressed for the past few days like just not his usual self right Jax? we like looked it up apparently yes dogs do get depressed when they can sense that like a big change is coming and obviously they don't know me and my mom are gonna be flying to New York with Jax. He's never flown. I'm gonna vlog that. That should be really interesting. Um, he barely can go in a car without making a big deal out of it. So I don't know what a six hour plane ride is gonna look like for us. And he barely fits the like dimensions that he needs to be. And we just got him to be an emotional support animal. He causes me more stress than he does support. Actually, that's a lie. When I didn't have him for six months when I was studying abroad in Europe, I was depressed. Okay, moving truck is here in a few. See you. Hey. <laughs> The truck is loaded. We got everything in here. That's all my shit. You see the stuff over there? This whole thing. See you in New York. <laughs> see you. That took five hours. I give you the copy, right? To New York. So that's what I'm sleeping on now. Jack, you look so cute. Do you know that something is happening, but you don't even know what it is? This was like a really old mattress that we had in our house that I'm using now because the other ones are all gone. There is nothing much left in this room, as you can tell. I've been staying in Nils' room ever since I got back from Paris, study abroad, because my room was an absolute shit show because it was holding all the furniture that I had for my downtown apartment while I was away in Europe studying. So I couldn't even like walk around in there. So, and Nils 
Michael's obviously in New York. So I kind of did a room takeover. Only a few pieces of furniture that we're gonna use until all our stuff gets to New York. The guy actually told me, the moving guy told me like, I think it's gonna take around a week, which is a little shorter because I thought it was gonna take like 10 to 14 days. He lied. It did not take one week. It took almost three. Which means we don't really have that much time here in LA. Stage two of the prepping for the move process is we are about to go to the thrift store to drop off bags and bags and bags of clothes that used to be on Depop, but they didn't sell. So I just removed them off my Depop. Look at my Depop. My Depop has some real gems and everything is so fucking cheap right now because I'm moving. I just really want to like get rid of everything. But there's some stuff that I just like don't have time to put on Depop. So we're just taking it there, dropping it off. Whatever the thrift store doesn't take, then we'll probably just end up donating. This is also the situation of the living room. This is all the shit that we're taking to Crossroads. Like there's like a Halloween witch's hat, just random shit. Hopefully they take them. Usually I'll take like five bags of stuff to Crossroads and then they'll give me like $3 and be like, actually you can only spend it at Crossroads. It's almost been two weeks since the movers came here. Like the movers picked everything up May 2nd. It's May 15th. This moving company we worked with has been so unprofessional. They haven't really let us know like what day they expect our stuff to get there. So we've just kind of been living in our LA apartment, like major camping energy happening in here. Just waiting for our furniture to get to New York. I talked to the driver today and he said it's probably gonna be Tuesday and it's Sunday right now. He called me back after I called him and he was like, hey, like something just broke in the truck. They like don't have the part here. I'm gonna have to wait for this thing to be fixed. I might end up getting it there a day later. So we still don't know exactly. It's just been so messy. But anyways, the time has come to start like packing up the remainder of shit that's left in this apartment before we like empty it out and leave for good. All I have is basically like clothes and like makeup products that I've been using for the past two weeks. I am just just packing up, watching some Gossip Girl. <gasps> the day has finally arrived. <clears throat> My voice sounds so deep, it's kind of crazy. I like got two hours of sleep. I went out last night on my last night in LA. I now sound like this. I've been trying not to get sick, now I'm fully sick. But the day has finally come. If you guys remember, this used to be the iconic wall shelf that I would have in the background of all my videos. And now she's empty. My room is completely emptied out. This shit used to be so full, but it's time to say goodbye. This is where my bed was, where I would film all my videos. Even though it's sad that we're leaving because I grew up moving so much, I never really get like emotionally attached to a place. So to me, I'm like, it's been fun. Gotta go. I'll miss her. My mom wanted to bring Santa Claus, but it didn't fit. This was a cute little apartment in Beverly Hills. I will miss Jack's running up and down these stairs. That's the funniest thing to me. Okay, so the reason that the vlog jumps from my house to the plane is because we had a hectic time in the airport. So this was Jax's first time going on an airplane. And when the lady checking us in saw him, she was like, right away, this dog is not getting on the plane. He's way too tall. Shout out to my seat buddy. And we were like freaking out. And then she asked if he's a service dog. And luckily he's registered as a service dog. Though technically we were definitely the ones emotionally supporting him throughout this journey. But he was such a good boy. Guys, we left the airport almost three hours after we landed because we were the last people to get their suitcases. And also since we had so many, we had to wait like twice as long as everyone to get a big cab. We finally got a cab and then started driving towards my new apartment that I'd never seen before. You guys, this is a crazy moment right now that we had to document because I thought I forgot my camera in the cab from the airport to the apartment. And it's been two days since we've been here, like I reported it as lost to the cab company and everything. And my mom just found it at 2 a.m. So yeah, um, the vlog picks up. Oh, I lost my voice, by the way, if you couldn't tell. The vlog is picking up where it left off. I'm sorry, you guys kind of got like a little break in the middle, just a little gap. Did it happen?